Hello and welcome to a video showing how to do your firmware update for the Fujifilm cameras. This one's going to focus on the Fujifilm X-Pro2 as you can see which just had an amazing firmware update which uh, beyond inco uh, incorporating numerous features which I'll review later allows the camera now to shoot 4K video. So an update from HD to uh, 1080 to 4K. So let's go through the process. The first thing you want to always make sure is that you have your camera battery fully charged. That is a must. The next thing you want to make sure is that once you go to the site and download the firmware, you want to make sure you put it on the card in its root directory, which means just basically just drop it on the, the card when it's on the desktop. When you load it into the camera, you want to then turn the camera on while holding the display back button to get into the firmware update mode. So I'm going to do that now. Let go and you see body version 3.11 so we're going to 4. I'm going to say OK and I definitely want to do the body. And now it says 3.11 to 4. I'm going to hit OK. And now once you hit yes you really want to put the camera down and not play with it. So I'm going to hit yes. It's going to start its uh, uh, progress bar and I don't want to play with that camera right now. You don't want to accidentally hit the uh, on-off switch. You don't want to open the battery door. You don't want to take the lens off. You don't want to open the uh, the side side case and hit the uh, SD card. Also, now that you're getting into 4K video, I encourage you to take a look at your battery type, and maybe you have a square or a circle for the orange icon. The circle is the battery type, which is the 4K battery type. That's not going to show up there, so we'll take that out and show you. So the new battery type for the extra video is the circle version rather than the uh, square version. The new battery is the circle one. So X-T2s, X-T20s, X-Pro2, you have the ability to shoot 4K. Recommend getting the new battery with the better heat resistance, heat, heat threshold. Um, also, I have some of my standard media cards here. I've now opted to go to a UHS-2 card, which handles the higher uh, file size much better. So if I was to go in here and now look at my file choices for an updated one, I would see the uh, choices for 4K. 2160 at 2398, 24P, 25P, and 2997. So the actual frames are 3840 by 2160, and then that's the frame rate. So now we have that capability. You could see here, this is a UHS-2 card. You could tell by the double, double frame, double levels there. Also, smaller point, you get the ability to use the Instax Share Printer, the Square. The SP2, the Mini, is already included in current version, so this updates so that you could print from the camera to the Square Printer. You also get a bunch of other features that are thrown in. Better uh, compatibility with USB and Wi-Fi tethering. Uh, I, I encourage you to check out the Fujifilm X Acquire app. You also have better AF tracking and, of course, the ability to use the X Raw Studio. I encourage you to check that out. That allows you to use the camera's processing engine, the X, tra the X processing engine, to process your files and get the look that you've come to love with uh, processing RAW to JPEG. So we see here the camera says version 4.0. I'm going to turn it off and this camera, this camera now totally up to date. Also we're improving on the uh, radio flash uh, usability and the support using the X Acquire, Mileage, X Acquire module app to back up the data on how your camera settings are and save it. So in case you do have a battery loss or something, someone else plays with your camera, you can load your settings back on. A nice feature. So another thing that I have that I love too is the metal hand grip. This is my go-to. It's the Arca Swiss with the grip here. This is on the graphite body, but this is makes it so much more comfortable to use the camera, I feel. And um, that's it from here. Hope you enjoy that. Good luck updating and enjoying the new X-Pro 2 4K.